This project is called Trailer. It's a relocatable, super low-cost dwelling that can or is designed to be able to be transported on a public highway and in a way it's a sort of manifesto for an open source, uh, very unprecious, rural, uh, I guess mainly living space but it could be workspace, could be you know living workspace, a sort of hybrid or something else. I'm super interested in an architecture of frugality where you design with, in a way, the least possible resources. It's not an architecture of minimalism or anything like that. It's an architecture of frugality where you just take what you have, what's available in a place, and you use it in a very direct manner without adding in anything else. And this is the timber we had, this is the plywood we could get, this is the construction waste, the set of parts that we could get to build this. So we've just built this project around this, you know, it's a 20 grand relocatable house. But all of the projects we've done around here are also super frugal and designed to use as little as possible. And in many ways, instead of that being radical, that's what people have just done in rural places. For centuries they've just taken what exists they've taken the people the skills the materials that exist around them and then they've, wo they've woven them into a project they haven't like gone shopping for stuff or looked to import other things they've just used kind of what they've had In a way, these projects are kind of pieces of landscape. You know, if you look at this rural context, there's buildings like this, barns, farms, and the way barns get built is in a very unprecious way, and things get kind of bodged into the side of them. And, you know, the kind of bits that kick out of the side of this are almost invitations for this project to become adapted and changed over time. So I'd love to come back in 10 years' time and see it completely reconfigured and different. It'd be great to go and look at some of those other ones that we've open sourced. I mean, I've given away drawings to people, mainly in America, really, people have emailed saying, can I have some drawings? I'm like, yeah, sure. And I'd love to see what something in the Midwest or something out in the prairie, you know, in Texas would look like uh, built out of their stuff, you know. <laughs>